it's a nice and warm summer morning and I'm out here on a new adventure. As you guys can clearly see, I'll be trying out something new. For those who haven't figured it out yet, this is a kayak. Yes, it is a kayak that fits in the trunk of my small sedan. It's a Saturday morning and I was expecting more people to be around, but it looks like I'm the only one, which I don't mind. We are all set and ready to go. I'm sure some of you folks might have already identified this lake because I posted a video about this lake almost about a year ago. It's about a 10 minute hike down to the water and I don't think anyone with a traditional kayak will be able to haul it down to the water. So I think it's the perfect situation for me to be having a folding kayak over here. Super quiet. We are out here in the forest one more time. And today I got my folding kayak. Well, I don't know how it is gonna go, but we'll see. It's a tad bit heavy and the hike down it's kind of okay, but we'll see. Getting down is not the issue. Getting back up with this thing might be a pain in the ass. Weighs about 26, 26 pounds, maybe more. Almost there. But as I said, the fishing is good, then I don't mind. But if the fishing is bad, ooh, I don't know what am I going to do. Wow. We are here. One cast. The water looks super calm and I don't see any activity anywhere other than small boils, maybe bluegills, perch feeding on the small bugs. Nothing significant though. Well, nothing on the first cast, just one cast over here and then we'll get to the kayak. I was looking for a fishing kayak for almost about a year now, but neither did I have the budget for it, nor was I looking to haul it on my car. So the only option I was left with was an inflatable one. But for some reason I did not feel comfortable about it with all the hooks flying around while fishing. 
So I did some research and I came across this folding kayak. This kayak is made by a company called TuckTech and they have great reviews all over the internet. And luckily, I was able to find one on Facebook Marketplace at a price that I could not say no to. When folded, the kayak only measures 47 inches wide. And as you might have seen at the beginning of this video, it fits perfectly in the trunk of my small sedan. Other than being compact, it only weighs 26 pounds and thus I can take it to places where taking a traditional kayak won't be an option. For this particular outing, I was easily able to hike down about 400 meters with it. Assembling the kayak is really straightforward and the website says that it can be put together in two minutes. However, this was just my second attempt at assembling it and it took me just under 12 minutes to put it all together. But with some practice, I can definitely do this within five minutes. The best thing about the entire process was that it was not physically demanding at all. The only challenging part according to me was assembling the seat, but I think it is part of the learning curve. I was in the parking lot at 6am and it's only 6.23 right now and we are all set to go, not bad at all. With this last piece of puzzle going together, I was all set for my maiden voyage. Before this, I have been on a kayak just once ever in my life. And therefore, I do not have any specific variables to determine the performance of the kayak. The only winning factor for me would be that the kayak stays above water. I decided to stay close to the shore and make some cast just to make sure I don't tip the kayak while casting. Fishing was not the primary objective of this trip. Still, I got two fishing rods, but I did not come prepared with all my lures. After only a few attempts, 
I became really comfortable that I can fish from this kayak. The next part of the challenge was to figure out how to paddle. And since I have done this one time in the past, I was able to get a quick grip at it. The one thing that I haven't done in the past is trying to take the kayak in reverse. And as you can clearly see, I was struggling a little with it. Eventually, I did figure out how to paddle backwards. With all of this hands-on practice, I was ready to roll. This kayak has an advertised capacity of 300 pounds, and myself, sitting at 160 pounds, felt really stable while paddling. Now that I had all the bases covered, it was time for me to try and catch some fish. For fishing, my objective was to paddle around and find the fish, and for that, I was using a spinnerbait. And since this was just my first time being on the kayak and fishing, I even came prepared with a spinning rod. And the reason for that being I did not want it to deal with bird's nest and all that good stuff that comes along with the bait caster. For the spinning setup, I had the trusted Texas rigged stick bait tied on. The reel that I'm using is an Akuma Seamar C10, and I got this reel about five years back and it is an ultralight reel that I primarily use for trout before switching over to BFS. The lake was super calm, and no, that wasn't a coincidence. I made sure to check the forecast and the wind before I left my place. Fishing with a stick bait requires a lot of patience and I did not have the time to stick around as I had a lot of water to cover. So I decided to switch from stick bait to something finesse, but something that I can fish while moving around.
The first kayak fish. That's how I caught my first kayak fish. It was just a small bass, but nonetheless, it was just my first time fishing from a kayak. Yep, that's how I mess up the recording every time I get a strike. Look what we got, tiny Google. Well, it was just a small pumpkin seed sunfish, and the poor fella was hooked on its back, so I decided not to show it to the camera. Coming back to talking about the kayak, it was almost about 45 minutes into paddling. And one thing I would like to point out is the seat. It was really uncomfortable. So I decided to beach myself for a quick stretch. Well, don't judge me for saying that this is a good fish. Everything on the BFS gear feels like a good fish. It was yet another small bass, but third fish of the day. Since I caught a fish on the third cast from this spot, I decided to stick around and try for some more. But the only thing I was able to catch was a beautiful sunrise. I felt really privileged to have a kayak. In the past, I had very less option to move around when the sun started to hit on my face. But this time, I was able to choose a comfortable spot for myself. As soon as the sun came up, the wind started to pick up a little bit. I was having a bit of hard time to keep the kayak in position. It wasn't even that windy. Maybe the wind speed was around 3 to 4 kilometers per hour. 
but yet the kayak kept turning around. I really wanted to fish the weed patch on the right side, but since I was not able to hold the kayak in place, I decided to move along. What do you guys think? Maybe an anchor would have helped? And if yes, what kind of anchor? And where do I tie it down to the kayak? Since I was not able to fish the spot from the kayak, I decided to give it a try from the shore. The weed patch was way beyond my casting distance, but I did see some bluegills chasing the yellow perch in the shallows, so I decided to give it a try. I tied on a trout magnet on a 132nd ounce jig head, since these fish were really small. Not a sunfish with a nice view. The sun started to hit me again, so I decided to move out of this spot too. I caught another dinky bass just few paddles off from the shore. I still believe this was a fish. What do you guys think? Was it a fish or did I just hit a snag?
Anyways, my original plan was to fish until this corner and then to head back home while sticking to the shore. But I became confident on the kayak and on my paddling skills. So I decided to fish this shore to the point where I'm exactly opposite where I launched the kayak from. This is why I be at this fish. The fish wasn't super big, but it was the biggest one of the day. And as you already saw, it fought like a beast. My guess is that it was close to two pounds. The change in plan was surely fruitful. And for next time, I know which areas I'm supposed to head first. Hey. I messed up again. Missed all the fight. Got myself a decent one pound fish on the kayak. Yeah, I caught another two pound fish just before this. We'll release this one and continue to fish. I realized it was already 10 a.m. and it was time to head back home. I felt a little strain in my legs with all this fishing and kayaking, so I decided it will be a nice time to call it a day. A little soreness is no big deal, because overall it was a pretty great day. I got to try out my kayak and even caught some fish. I wanted to capture myself folding the kayak, but there were people sunbathing on the beach, and I respect their privacy. 
So I decided to turn off the camera before we got to the beach. But maybe next time. So stay tuned for more adventures.